Thank, thank you, Chris. Steve Del Bianco with the Net Choice Coalition. Uh, this morning, uh, Raul Echeverria said that uh, the enhanced cooperation was a compromised goal, and it was admittedly ambiguous, and it was uh, arrived at in the final days of Tunis to avoid having to choose, to defer having to choose between existing or new mechanisms for Internet governance. And, and it reminds me of something I've done with my teenage son, who is nagging me all the time to choose between letting him use an existing car or buying him a new car, and I tell him to work on enhanced transportation instead. <laughs> but, but seriously, I care about en enhanced cooperation because I want to avoid, I definitely want to be clear, I want to avoid a new mechanism for Internet governance that might be designed by and for government. Instead, I am one of those folks at ICANN who works every day on enhanced cooperation within existing mechanisms, and for years on ICANN working groups on, on who is, for instance, trying to make who is more accurate and accessible while also trying to preserve the ability for individuals to guard their privacy. Now, there are individuals from governments who have been fantastic participants in these working groups. And, and I suppose it's okay to mention an individual's name if it's complimentary, but Mr. De La Chapelle, for instance, rolled up his sleeves and worked with us on the working groups on who is. It's been great. But the larger government organization at ICANN, the GAC, or Government Advisory Committee, has not been as effective in this working group structure. I think there's a lot of promise there, but currently it takes too long for the GAC to answer follow-up questions, and it tries to get involved as a body as opposed to experts within a group. So if governments actually avoid cooperation for the next two years, they would be able to look back and say that enhanced cooperation didn't work for the Tunis agenda. Now, a cynical person would interpret that to say that they just want to justify the creation of a new mechanism. But I don't want to be cynical. Not, not here at the IGF. It's an optimistic time and an optimistic place. And uh, I would like to close by inviting governments to roll up their sleeves and work closely with those of us in the private sector here at IGF and at ICANN on, uh, on enhanced cooperation. We can do it. Thank you very much.